Hi all, welcome in the next video of Oracle PLSQL. In this video, we are going to uh, work on the table commands like how we are creating the tables and how we are uh, managing the uh, data in, 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 in the tables. <coughs> okay. So in this video, we are going to learn like uh, how the table is behaving inside the Oracle database and how we can control the data inside the table. Okay, so moving ahead. So what we are going to learn in this video so firstly we will be looking for the tables like in earlier video if you have seen so we already discussed about like how CTR architecture is working in working with Oracle databases how databases is working and interacting with the web APIs and how we are handling the database okay so if you, uh, you if you did not see that video so please go and watch first video okay so what we are going to learn in this video so firstly we will be learning about the tables okay table structures and different data types uh, we are using inside the Oracle databases and Oracle tables. SQL commands and their categories. Okay, so SQL commands like DDL commands, DML commands, DQL commands, DCL commands. So that we are going to learn. And different types of operations we can perform for creating the tables, deleting the tables, altering the tables, and renaming the tables name. Okay and apart from it like how we can manage the data so for managing the data we are going to see like how we can insert the data inside the table how we can update the already existing data how we can delete the data from the table and how we can truncate the table so that all we are going to learn in this video okay so moving ahead <coughs> oracle tables okay so i already like uh, uh, in the last video i explained what are the tables and how they are being created and where they are placed inside the schema or inside the database okay so basically uh, if we see the tables so tables are actually row and co column based architecture okay it's the same kind of excel spreadsheet okay so like we have some rows we have some columns and the data is arranged in that way only so tables are the database object that contains the, all the data in the database. The data is logically organized in a row and column format similar to a spreadsheet. So see here like if we see here so we have a user id, first name, last name, mobile number, country. So all this uh, email and package id. So all this is arranged in the tabular format. Okay so like if we wanted to uh, see the tables so like e, the, that already i saw new like this is our database okay so inside this database architecture we can see here a table table folder and inside the table folders we have multiple tables so we talk about this this table so we have the data for this table yeah see so this is the structure and this is the table data okay so earlier we will be uh, like we have explained about the tables and now further we will be looking for the like creation updation and all the things and all the operation for this table okay so this is the table structure so like if you see here in this table so we have user id first name last name mobile country email package id so what is the format what are the data types we uh, pick for the um, creation of the tables and how we created the structure for the table that we are going to learn here okay so Let's see like uh, if you see the user id so user id it's uh, like as the name suggests like it's a id so id is basically of a number type data type and it's not a nullable value and the default value is not anything assigned and the com column id we given is one and if we have any comments so that we can put here okay so user id is basically we kept um, <coughs> unique value here so that's why we kept it not nullable value okay so that we can like uh, we can uh, like arrange the data in the format of user id like if we wanted to update any data first name last name mobile number so we can update that data based upon the user id okay that's why we make it a nullable value not a nullable value okay first name so you can see first name is a wildcard two type okay so it's going to accept the 40 characters here and the second column id is second given the last name the wire care and the mobile number so you see like it's a mobile number so it's a <coughs> accepting 12 numbers here 12 comma 0 so mobile number is a data type of number which is accepting a 12 number here and which is uh, nullable means the user's number, mobile number can also be null okay and if you see the country the country is also wire care 
email id so basically email id also contains some numbers some characters some special characters so we are also accepting a package for this email id package id package id of course a next uh, a number type or a number type of data type so you can see here we restricted at 10 numbers of package id okay so this type of structure we created for this table so hope you will be understanding all this structure so further we will be looking at how we can create the structure for the table okay and if you see the data type so what type of data type we can use in the oracle tables like you can see worker 2 number date globe and blog okay so worker 2 is basically a number plus character plus a special characters combination okay which we can restrict in some way like 30 characters 50 characters 500 characters okay like we can put the size you can see here <coughs> okay number number is specifically a number format okay it's a one to nine number of format date date is a date format club club like if we wanted to put any uh, xml as an input uh, like you can see like if we wanted to uh, get inserted a uh, some um, non uh, it's a kind of a collection of data okay club is a collection in which like we can collection of object okay so we can uh, put the collection of data like if we have some xml so we can accept the xml we have some list of data so we can accept the list of data so that kind of th thing we are accepting here in club okay binary double and binary file so that is actually a binary format if we wanted to insert the images or if we wanted to insert the any png or pdf format so that we can use in this format okay so let's see how we can uh, see these kind of uh, uh, things here in the oracle databases so like if i'm clicking right here uh, just beside of a new table okay getting a new table option clicking on a new table see so this is the schema like inside which schema you want to uh, create the table so we have a multiple schema but by default we are accepting the system schema we can give the name like if we are creating a test table i'm not going to create here because we will be creating through the uh, xml dml command okay so test table the name we can give here the column name we can give here like if you want to add a package id so you can put the package id name here what type of data what type of column you want to put here that you can select from here where can number date block clock binary file binary readable uh, if you want to restrict the data with size like it's going to be a 20 characters of data or 40 characters of data so that you can put here you can mark if it is a, a unique value or if you are not going to put a null value here or uh, it's not going to be a null so you can mark here not a null okay otherwise by default it takes a, a null value okay so in the null case you can put the you can make uh, it's a not like compulsory uh, value you can put the blank value uh, instead of putting any uh, value you can put the command here you can put the comment here and just click on ok so once you click on the ok test table will get created here inside this folder okay you also have a, a primary key option here like you can mark here so once you mark here so it will get created as a primary key so primary key is basically i will tell you further in the next video what is the keys and what are the primary keys so uh, primary key is basically a key which will be responsible for like a uniquely identification of the records okay like if we are creating a package id as a primary key here so like we can uh, identify any record based on the package id like it's not going to be uh, iterated it's not going to be um, duplicated so okay so it's going to be a unique value with a primary key like it cannot be null also okay so like if we are getting a four number as a package id so we will be definitely having a four as a package id and we will be having some data based on that okay so that kind of primary key we can put here and just click on the save and date table bit get created and based upon that ddl command also gets created here you can see here okay i'll tell you further how you can see and how you can manage that okay let's go uh, to the ppt okay so we saw the uh, table structure we saw the data types and now moving ahead so what type of sql commands we are using in our uh, oracle databases or plsql okay 
so first are the ddl commands okay so ddl is basically a data definition language secondary are the D dql data query languages and third are the data manipulation language and fourth are the data control language okay so as a name suggests like data definition language dql language dml language data control language so that we will further looking what kind of uh, commands we are using inside these categories okay so basically for the table operation if we uh, talk about so uh, for the table creation we are basically using a create table alter table drop table truncate table so these are the table levels of command if we talk about the data operation level commands so we have a insert data update data delete data okay so we can uh, like we can uh, like do the operation on the data level and we can also do the operation on the table level okay so this is the distribution of sql commands as i told you earlier so we have a uh, um, uh, four types of commands here we also have a dcl so that is basically a dq okay so dcl is tcl is also here transaction control language okay so okay so um, ddl so what we do inside the ddl so what type of command we considering so inside the ddl we have a create drop alter and truncate D ddl means data definition language like how we can manage the definition of the table like it's only handles the table level sub command like creating the table dropping a table altering the table and truncating data manipulation language as the name suggests data manipulation means whatever the manipulation you wanted to do um in the data side so that you can do using the dml commands okay tcl transaction control language so that you can inside see like commit save point roll back so if you doing any transaction then only you, you need to uh, come into this uh, this type of commands query languages like if you wanted to handle any data so how you can query that data so which type of command is you, is you being used for like querying the data so that commands come falls under dql so basically 110% if we wanted to do any query for the data so we use that select command like select star from this table select this uh, this data from this table so basically for querying any kind of data we need to uh, use the select command we have a dcl so dcl basically data control language okay so what kind of uh, like control we can provide to the user so that we can manage through the dcl commands okay so data definition language ddl okay so you can see here inside the ddl we have a create drop alter truncate comment and rename so data definition language actually consists of the sql commands that can be used to define the database schema it simply deal with the description of the database schema and used to create and modify the structure of the database object inside the database okay ddl is a set of sql commands used to create modify delete database structure but not the data okay so basically it's being used for uh, like uh, doing the operation on a tables not the data inside okay so create table is basically used for creating the tables creating the index creating the functions creating the views creating the stored procedures creating the triggers so that we can create using the create command drop used to like deleting the objects okay alter means modification on the on, of the structure like we wanted to um, rename the data we wanted to add the column if you wanted to drop the column so that we can use truncate truncate so truncate uh, truncate is used to remove all the records from the tables included everything okay comments is used to add a comments to the data dictionary so like we have a comment uh, section uh, beside of each uh, column so that we can put here the name means used to renaming the objects okay next is data query language so as i told you like for querying any data inside the database or uh, inside the table or inside view so every time we will need to do the select command so select is basically used for querying the data so dql statements are used for performing queries on the data within the schema the purpose of dql commands is to get some schema relation based on the query passed to it okay we can define dql as a follows it is in the component of sql star statement 
that allows uh, getting the data from the databases and imposing order upon it. It includes the select statement. This command allows getting the data out of the database to perform the operation. When the select is fired against a table or tables, the result compiled into the further temporary tables. Okay, got it. Like we can, if we, we are selecting some data, so we can put the edge and some object name so that temporary table gets created automatically. We will be seeing if we further creating the stored procedure and functions. So we will be see, we will see, see those kind of things there. Okay. Next is a DML, a data manipulation language. Okay, so D, DDL data, um, DQL is data query language, DDL is data definition language, which is used for the table level, and data manipulation language used for the data's uh, table's data level. Okay, the SQL commands that deals with the manipulation of the data present inside the table belongs to the D, DML data manipulation language. Okay, this includes the most of the SQL statement. It is a component of SQL statement that controls the data, controls controls access to data to the database. Basically, D, DCL statement are good with the D. Okay. So basically, we wanted to handle the uh, data inside the table. So that for that we are using the this kind of like DML data manipulation languages. Okay. So like for the data manipulation, we have a insert, update, delete, lock call explainer so insert is of course inserting the data inside the table or uh, view or whatever we have a temporary tables or global table so we can do the inserting using the insert command we have update so we can update the existing data delete means we can delete the existing record at lock like we can lock the table control okay call like call pl sql or java program so that we can use the call and we also have an execute command okay so we can execute the stored procedure using that explain plain like we discussed the excel of the content okay so these are the basically data manipulation language for manipulating the data inside the tables dcl data control languages so dcl includes includes commands such as grant revoke which mainly deal with the rights permissions and the control of the database system okay so dcl basically are uh, used for used from the admin side which are actually responsible for providing the access to access the database schema and providing the uh, rules level of uh, access okay like if you wanted to provide the read only access so that we can provide using this grant uh, grant access to this particular using read only okay so that we can handle through this data control languages and tcl is the transaction control transaction control language so which are which are basically uh, in come in a picture when we are working on any transactions okay so basically if we do working on that uh, like uh, development so basically we are not considering this uh, tcl commands but if we have uh, some big kind of uh, operation happening inside the database so and we can create the transaction and we can like use these particular commands okay so we have a multiple advantages of using TCL also, but basically we are using DDL, DQL, DCL, DML, uh, SQL statements mostly. Okay, so I hope you understood all these uh, SQL commands. Further, we moving out like for the creating the tables. Okay, so how we can create the tables? So let's see here. Okay, so this is the query for creating the table. So let's execute it and try to let me come out from this then only we can copy I can copy sorry so this is the create table command so let me show you how the table gets created take date this is the editor okay so how we can do that control B so what we need to do we need to create one test table okay so, so create table we can put the name here test table okay test table so what we are going to put here test id txt test id let's see whether it is creating or not okay test id is going to be a number number of 10 numbers okay not null then test name 
you can put the test name not null ct by plus ct is fine what is the ct customer uh, constant if we wanted to put any constant so we are creating customer's primary key so instead of customer's what we can put here test test primary key what going to be a primary key is test id okay what it's saying not null not null i think uh, there is no issue with it okay let's execute it create table test table what was the format i think create table not null not null 50 now this is the fine Okay, otherwise what we can do let's see one format from here new table okay so firstly we wanted to create the test id so put test underscore id okay we want to create it a primary key so put the primary key here not now one more column what we need to put the name here test underscore name okay it's going to be a number so we can put the number here where by two okay and one more column we wanted to add so what we can put here it's going to be a one below so what we can put here ct okay ct is going to be a wire cut two so let's do the wire cut this kind of uh, DDR command gets created create table table one so if you wanted to test table we wanted to give the name test table so that will okay so create test table test id number not null okay test name where car 20 city constant primary key test id so this type of uh, structure gets created okay so that we can put here okay so if you wanted to uh, control c copy it cancel it and execute from here control v that we can also execute from there also but i just wanted to show you the query that's why i just want to execute from here so create table table name column name it's a number it's going to be not null test name is the column name where can size city where can size and if we wanted to put any constant so we put the constant primary key okay and which primary key is a test id so let's run it so you got the message like table test table created so let's go to the test table and refresh is there M N O P Q R S T test table is created. So you can see test ID, test name, and CD. Table is created, and what are the column structures here? So you can see here. <coughs> okay. So this kind of uh, test table we can uh, create table. We can do that. Moving ahead, uh, how to add a column? How to alter the column? So that we can also do. So if you wanted to see, I can also show this one also. 
so how to add a column so add is i i think i can just show you one how to modify the column in a table so let's copy this one i show you how to modify the column okay this table is already created <coughs> alter table name modify column name city we can see okay column name city control the city column type it's a uh, currently it's a wire case so let's let's i'm putting a number here okay number here alter test tables so again going to some error it is fine cd and column name and column type this is for adding add column this is for modify okay modify column name column type test table modify column name column name is city and put the type is number let's run it and see if it is modifying ok so it's just saying something It's asking for the password something I mean. Alter. Alter database. Alter. See this type of ID and uh, we need to provide the password alter user hr enable additions alter database flashback on alter database open okay so we need to open that database i think then only we can alter this okay let, let's try more once test table okay alter test table it's not allowed itself. Access rules is there. We need to firstly put the table structure, then only it will be updating. Okay. Let me show you here in the query. Edit. What we wanted to up, uh, update here, okay. So that we can update from here. Okay, so like if you wanted to update the column, so we have a number, so we can put the no, it's a fine number. City, we wanted to put the number, so we can put the number. And okay. So let's see if the number is created. it is created yes it is updated as a number okay so either this way we can do or we can run the sql commands but it's not allowing sql i think any rule is set for updating here that i need to look for so same way like we can drop the column name also let me see if this is working i think this will also not allow you see here it's giving us that means there is something which is not allowing here drop so let me test table control c table control 
एस टेबल ड्रॉप सी टी सी टी ओके कॉलम सी टी आई थिंक दिस विल वर्क अल्टर टेबल टेस्ट टेबल ड्रॉप कॉलम सी टी कॉलम इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू रीनेम द कॉलम सो वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस कमांड अल्टर टेबल नेम रीनेम द कॉलम टू दिस कॉलम दिस नेम ओके how how to rename the table so that we can uh, use this command alter the table table name the name to this like if we have a test table so if you wanted to put the test to test table to a table uh, customer table or uh, for a uh, user table so you can put alter table uh, test tables the name to test tables to uh, like user table if you wanted to rename it so we will put the user table okay and this is the like insert commands okay so if we wanted to insert any data inside the table so we can use this commands so this command is so insert into table column name express and what we wanted to insert if we have any condition so we can put the condition otherwise we can directly insert okay so let me show this one also if we can we are able to insert anything or we can manually also go and insert that so let me show you firstly manually how you can do that okay so click here go to the data okay if you wanted to insert any record just what do you want to insert here test id like one what do you want to insert here the test name means any name like put i am putting the this name okay wanted to cd so let me put cd name so once you are clicking the enter so you will be getting that command already generated okay so let me hit the enter okay so this you data you already put if you wanted to insert any more rows so you can also put it or you can put this comment So just click this commit, and the data is inserted. Invalid number. Okay, so CTV already updated as a number now, so we need to put here the number. So let's put twelve. Okay, then put here. So it's uh, committed successfully, and data is updated. Let me show you the command. Which command? See, the command is already created already. Okay, same way uh, you can put the. so like if you go inside this table next time and if you wanted to see the data so data is already here okay so let's do one more insert using the command control b okay so insert into this is the system dot table this is the table name schema name and this is the table name this is the column name then what the values we wanted to insert so like if we, one is already created so we put the two and so here we can put anything else okay and if you wanted to put any other number here so let's put 13 here and hit the insert let's do it and try to see if it is working so you can see a uh, commit successful so let's go to the table again and see Now it's not at executed. I think. Unique constraint is violated. Okay, so I think two is already there. So let's put three and run. One row is inserted. Okay. so let's go to the table and see whether it is inserted or not 
see three records are inserted that is executed two times okay so this be way we can insert the data inside the table same way we can like if we wanted to uh, update so we can update the table using the expression this update table name like test table set city city and we wanted to uh, update the column name using some condition so we can put that where id is this where test id is this okay if we if we wanted to delete the data that we can also do it from here so let's see delete one whether we are able to delete okay so we have uh, this third data okay where test id is 3 so let's try to delete this one delete from okay so we need to put this control c delete from this table where test id test id is going to be a 3 okay now we don't want to put any extra condition here and just run it delete from the table where test id is this I don't think it's running. So you can also do in this way, manual way, but I don't know it is not coming. So like if table level, if you want to uh, like create any commands, you can also put from here. So count, row, logging, parallel, command, truncate, drop, copy, okay column level if you want to drop or delete so that you can also do from here so these are the already pre-made commands okay so let me take from here like if you wanted to drop any column so let's put what is the column we wanted to drop cd so let's apply from here cd has been dropped okay so you can see the table that cd column has been deleted from here so this way we can do that if we wanted to update any column so that also we can from rename comment drop normalize so that we get to from here also okay this is a truncate column so truncate is basically deleting all the data from the table so in that way we can use the truncate command Okay, so thank you so much uh, for the watching just try to do the practices for all these commands sql commands and if you face any issue you can just uh, comment me or connect with me in a telegram or email me i will definitely help you out and once we are able to like do some basic operations we will be further moving ahead for uh, integrating the stored procedures and functions with our application okay and we will try to understand uh, understanding the full stack development okay thank you so much for the watching and keep practicing and let me know in case of any issue thank you so much for the watching